what would you say is your A plus setup or what type of trade gets you the most excited that you're the most comfortable with after all of your experience that you've had so far? Got it. Okay. So, um, it's, so I'll broaden them. We have kind of, we have, um, so we have, uh, day one runners. We have day two moves where you have a, you know, where you have a, uh, nice wide range day on day one, and then it gaps up day two. Then you have your multi day moves where it's up three, four, five days in a row. And then you have your intraday moves. So there's a lot of subdivisions, but basically, you know, the best of the best cream of the crop is the multi-day moves. Um, you know, uh, those are the best because to get there, you need just, uh, it's just it, uh, sorry, it's more extreme to get to the multi-day move than just the day one move. There are extreme day one moves, but for us, you know, the multi-day moves are uh, the best of the best. And to go even further into subdivisions, so you have your day one runners, your intraday movers, your day two and multi-day runners, but then you have your IPO names, your small caps, your large caps, and your intraday names. So, you know, for uh, everyone at home who wants a better idea, uh, for IPOs, we have your recent GCT. So if you go ahead and pull up the GCT chart, that was an incredible trade that was closed out below 20, so swing short. Now, that trade was only possible due to missing other IPO names. So just because it's a quiet day trading doesn't mean there's not stuff going on that you're missing. Like, like we have learned so much from our misses. So PEV on 6, 23, 22 of this year, that was a miss. We didn't partake in that. USEA 7722, that was a miss. We didn't partake in it. And there's 20 other names like ALF, XL, SOUN, but all these misses, you know, but we're saying we want to be a part of these. We want to be a part of these. How can we be a part of this? They, they accumulate. And all of a sudden, we were able to form a scan because we got enough misses. And sure enough, GCT was the first IPO scan that we took. And it was a, an amazing winner. And then, you know, you know, for small caps, you know, we have like INDO on uh, 22422. You have OCX 122020, GOVX 82021. And if you go through those names, you'll see like those are our names that we're looking at. Um, I believe those are all day one like gappers, but they give amazing reversals. Um, you know, for for our large caps, because we have large cap scan as well. You know, we have Oxy, OXY, three seven twenty two. That was in it. You know, that was my first trade of the year. Um, it, which it, it was. It took a long time. I was like, man, it is so slow out there. But you know, when the oil names heated up, and you know, finally the scan started populating. That was a incredible first trade to have. Then we have you know, Netflix seven thirteen twenty twenty, AMD. Two, two, twenty-two. Now that's an earnings play, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And and sadly, that was a miss. It was um, it was not on scan at the time, but it is now, which is, which you know is unfortunate because it it, it, it gave an amazing setup for a great risk reward. But uh, you know, you learn from your misses. And then for your intraday moves, uh, we have DPSI. 51822 XBIO 72321 PETZ 21721. And this is just like a small sample list, but if anyone's at home wanting to kind of get an idea of moves that capture our eyes, that are our carrots, you know, you, you, in a sense, um, those are some names. And, uh, you know, I encourage you to look at the charts and kind of do some of your own research, but. Uh, you learn from your misses and you learn from honestly uh, underperforming or you should learn from underperforming because what encouraged me to and want to, you know, kind of totally put a, a step on the brakes from what I was doing, the scalping, like some people would probably think I'm crazy. If something's working, why do a 180 degree turn 
change up your trading style on a dime. And it was because scalping was great. And like I said, uh, many people do find success in it and I encourage them to, but I wanted more. Like I wanted to, you know, I always had great entries, but I caught 30 cents out of a $2 move plus or a $1 move. I was like, I want... I want to capture the whole move or more majority of the move. I want to just you know uh, get away from scalping. Also for sizing up, uh, you can only get so big scalping. So just for some goals I had and aspirations, uh, I wanted to know where you know where do I get out and because there's a difference in when you're scalping, you're taking the quick profits because you don't know. You think the stock's going to go down, but you don't know how much it's going to go down. So you're taking, you're locking in the quick profits. I wanted to know that, you know, if this gives me my trigger, this should go to my exponential moving average because all the rest do. Now, I don't know if it's going to attack it or if it's going to just kind of go sideways and wait for that to catch up, but I know my target so I can be patient for my target and I don't have to, you know, think, oh, uh, it's, it's bouncing me. You know, maybe I should just, you know, get out break even. So it's been a drastic shift, but I've been loving it. Yeah, that's helpful. One of the things that I think is interesting is that while you didn't partake in some of these trades, they are now on your radar and you're finding ways to optimize your trading and incorporate them into future plays. Is that is that accurate? That That's very accurate. So a lot of these misses have are setting us up for future captures. Basically, uh, BBBY, this are, uh, I guess that's last month now. Um, but BBBY, I'm just gonna pull up the chart real quick. But uh, that was, it would have never been on scan in the past. And all these misses earlier in the year, you know, a large part of our misses were due to the fact that the position in lifetime range, position in one year range, due to, you know, the massive market sell off. In 2020, first half of 2021, 2000, like 2019, but the stocks were pretty much at the upper end of their position in one year and position in lifetime ranges. So we didn't have any scans to capture stocks bouncing off. It's like dead lows. Um, so it took you know months of, of missed A plus candidates bouncing off their dead lows or position and range to to find out where we can really lower that floor to and still collect winners without losers. And, you know, this BBBY is a, a prime example. You know, we, uh, it was, it was on scan on, on, uh, eight, eight, 2022. And, uh, we captured that move, which was great on the following day, eight Oh nine. And then it was on scan again on eight 16, 2022. That was a quick short tar target. And then we caught it again the following day. And like those three trades, um, those trades are not captured if the misses earlier in the year didn't occur. So you can always learn. You can always like you like uh, you you learn from your misses and your underperformance like like drastically. You know so so if 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 there are plays you are missing, don't just overlook them. You know etc. Definitely note them down and do what you need to do because I, I genuinely believe uh, that you know past failures will lead to future success.